Hello again. We are continuing our lesson about sugar packets and ratios. And now I have some visual aids for you. Here is one sugar packet. I'm sure you've eaten many of these at restaurants. And more interestingly though for today, this is a pile of 17 sugar packets. All of that sugar, <laughs> if I don't drop it, is in one Coke bottle. And here I have my Coke bottle, and if, how I found this information is by turning it around and looking at it. Let me come see if I can show you up close. Okay, if you can see that the ingredient information here, you can read under sugars, and it says, uh, it says 55 on this bottle. That's strange. Okay, maybe they've changed it. My goodness. Okay, so you look under sugars and it tells you how many grams. So that's for Coke. And we also looked at vitamin water. Here's our vitamin water. And that says 27. Let me get up close. I don't know if you can see total sugar is 27. So that's where I got that information. And in our class, if we were at school, we would look at other drinks also, and also some foods, which you might find surprising. And one of them we would look at would be Arizona tea. And this huge container has, it says two servings. So it says 67 grams, but this is uh, a lot more than the Coke. So this is 30, 23 ounces and this is 20. Still a lot of sugar. Now Sprite, if you look at the bottle, has 63 sugars. So that's very close to Coke. So which isn't surprising, they just look different, but they're very uh, highly sugared. And then the last one I have here is the apple juice. Now apple juice you would think is real healthy for you, which it does have some health benefits, I'm sure, better to eat an apple. But if you look on the back, the serving for one bottle is 39 grams. So it's about two thirds as much sugar as the Coke. But that's still a lot. That's still a lot. And this is only 12 ounces. 12 ounces. So there's a ratio problem right there, figuring out how they compare. So what I would like you to do at home is to go around your home and gather up three bottles of drinks and figure out how much sugar is in one serving. And I want you to write this at the top of your homework page. I want you to show me the ratio work like I did on the overhead for three different drinks. So I'll be looking for that first before you do your homework. So isn't this fun? This is a, world, uh, a real world example of how to use ratios in our lives. Take care.